Hey y'all, welcome to this week's DCC Overtime. Let's go through our DCC top three for this episode. The entrance can be a defining moment. Mm -hmm. They're moving at such a fast pace and they're doing arms and they're staying aligned, not only down the files of the yard mm -hmm. lines, but at angles, so it's, it's a little bit of this. It is. And it, I think it looks easier for people that watch it. And it just looks like a smooth movement across the field, but when you break it down and really have to learn it, I think it shakes everyone up the first time. You're gonna start on your right foot, your arms are gonna go down and keep walking. And you're so exposed, they know they're gonna stand out if they make a mistake. This is where a lot of our rookie candidates crash and burn. <sighs> wow. Am I crash right? and burn? One mistake and you're off. There's so much footwork, arm work, counts, get to the yard line. If you miss the five yard line once, then you're gonna miss it the next time. I'm not kidding when I tell them down at the end zone, find your 50, eyeball your yard line, because P.S. there's two 45s. <laughs> and on any given Sunday, you can hit the wrong 45. It's a lot to think about. They can't think, it has to be so instinctive, and this is where it starts. Now that whole group, my eye did go to Ashley. There was something nice about her presence. She does have nice a beautiful presence. presence, yes and yes. that bright smile. And then when you watch it back, you can already see what eventually became her Achilles heel, which was the smallness in her little mm -hmm. shoulders and line awareness. But watch and her body. Space. Height, presence, great. And then she just kind of littles it. Right. But she also makes a lot of mistakes. She's not in time with anyone in that line. Okay, that was better, Ashley. You just have to know your legs and how much ground you cover. Why were you being so kind in your compliments? What, why were you saying I like you're- her. I wanted her to be good. I really like Ashley and I wanted her to be good. Jordan, you're overshooting the yard line. Stop. You're overshooting them. One, two, three, four, your whole foot's here. Give me the ball of your foot. The ball right there. Boom, stomp on a roach. Why are you coddling her? You just <laughs> Honestly, I mean, you know this feeds the drum major in me. Uh -huh. And when we, there's times where we've said, have the ball or your foot on the line, and I literally don't think they comprehend it. They no. shake their heads and say, yes, ma'am. So I- Just so they can get was, away from us. Yes, yes. ma'am, let me go away. Yes. Also in this episode, we had the windiest rehearsal that I think I can ever recall in my years with the Cowboys. Okay! Jesus brought the wind though. Feeling good. Uh, we're on the field outside for the first time. I feel like I'm about to fly away because my eyelashes are going to fly off, but we're going to do some field work today. <laughs> this is the windiest we've ever been at. I don't think we've ever danced in this much wind. I can't think of a time where I was literally hoping everybody's extension stayed on their head. That is hysterical. Hysterical. They can't hear us. They couldn't put a palm down or it would blow away. Okay, Kelly, you need to loosen up a little bit. Yes, ma'am. Jensen, you're short on your four and your eight hitting the line. Okay. Yes, Jensen, we were doing the entrance and I'm making a correction. And she goes, yes, ma'am. And all, you know, I'm just hearing a lot of yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Before y'all say yes, ma'am, because I hear that a lot and I appreciate that, but do you understand what we're saying? Um, not exactly. Okay. <laughs> They were saying, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. But And I knew Jensen kind of had a face of, I'm just going to say yes, ma'am, so she'll well, hurry up and leave me alone. I kind of wonder if they've been told that or if amongst themselves they've said, just say yes, ma'am, and go on with it. Yes. Don't draw attention to of yourself. Of course. But I'd rather understand where they're not understanding so we can help them. When you were a kid in the classroom, mm -hmm. were you that kid that asked all the questions? No. Or did you just hope the teacher would go away? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so in this episode we called in the experts oh, we, we have our own Shelly Roper McCaslin mm -hmm. and Melissa Reed Page to be the teacher and the scientist and the demonstrator and the motivator of kicks on a football field formations are effective and kicks seem to dazzle people they do and with us it has become a tradition you can hear the audience kind of <gasps> And that's that's the moment the people stand up, clap, and applaud. And when they do the jump split? Gasps. Get they gasp. Jump split's a gasp. Everyone can't wait to see the kick line. So having them there helping us improve it just makes it so much better. Okay, 
I want you to do it again. And I want you to watch yourself because you will see when your leg is going up, I can see your whole face, which you're a beautiful girl and I want to see your face, but not in a kick because that means your leg is going right over here. All right, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, stop. Can you tell Shelly's just her counting? One, two, yes. three, stop. <laughs> what? They never got past four, no, I don't think. I don't think they got past one. A lot of these dancers, mm -hmm. even our most technically trained dancers, a kick line with the precision and the height and the power and line awareness is, is literally a foreign language to them. So foot is gonna go up on the wall. I'm really wanting to help them understand the correct form for kicks. It's like hard to get it up, but once you get it up there, it's, yeah, there you go. And then really help them with the stretches that'll get them there. Really feeling it. <laughs> okay, the biggest disclaimer I think about this episode <laughs> is do not try this at home. <laughs> right. How many people are gonna have their legs, legs up on, the wall. on their walls and mirrors after seeing this? One of the biggest moments was when the rookie candidates got to see the DCC locker room for the first time. I think that's a really exciting moment because it's it's almost famous in its own self to be a part of the DCC locker room or just to get to walk in there for the first time. It's exciting. Whoa! Hold on now! Ah! What a trick! Oh my God! My head is so big! It's exciting to see that locker room for the first time, but it wasn't their names. It was just rookie candidate. Right. Because this team's not final. We want them to envision it being their home, but it's not totally their locker yet. And it's not their professional DCC photo yet. No, they it's haven't just even. the one they sent in for their application. It's a stepping stone. You make training camp, you get to go into a locker room and see a temporary picture, and then it just helps you envision that someday I might be in this locker with my real picture in a DCC uniform. There have been years where they just had a yellow sticky note on their locker, and when they were released, their sticky note went away too. Well, you're a constant improver. So our star spotlight of this episode is the highly anticipated jump split. Okay, we're gonna try the jump splits tonight. Have y'all tried it on your own? I had never done jump splits before um, yesterday. I did it once by myself, so it is a little nerve wracking. Here we are, we're looking at the sixth episode and it's the first time they've done the jump splits. I bet every rookie candidate coming into training camp dreads this night. I would. We never had to do it. No, we slid into our splits at the end of Yankee Doodle Dandy. <laughs> I think what makes the jump split scary is just the feeling of lost control. I do too. It's not typical. I mean, in a dance class, you don't learn a jump split. No. Jump, do the splits in the air, let all of gravity pull you down, tag on 35 of your best friends. And boots. And boots. And on the football field, it really shows up. If someone's timing is off a hair, it shows up. Ashlyn just made the worst mistake you can make. You cannot do the jump split account after everyone else or someone's going to get injured. For the ones that have, that have done jump splits, which might be a few that uh -huh. might have been on high school drill team, maybe right. in Texas only, for them it probably is exciting. Like, I got this. Right, because it's really not that hard if you just go for it and do it correctly. You can have kind of a blackout moment though where you lose count. Right, we saw that with Ashlyn. That's exactly what happened to Ashlyn. And she could have injured herself or injured somebody next to her. When a missed kick happens, most times the person next to you that's gonna get hurt. Sounds easy, but it's a lot of components going into that one second moment. I wanna go back on this episode and settle a bit. Did Ashlyn do an extra kick? She did an extra kick. I thought she just stood there. No, she did an extra kick. I, I could be wrong. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Oh, Contact free. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah! <laughs> Judy wins again. You won. She did an extra kick. <sighs> Thank you. Our throwback moment, we have Meredith making a mistake in the kick line. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Meredith 
is scaring us right now because she almost pulled two veterans down with her, and that would be a disastrous move if that was made during a performance. Meredith, what happened? I bent over too far and couldn't get myself back up and then brought the line with me. That could have been a huge game day foul. The boots are a bit of a challenge. The weight distribution is just a little off for me right now. I'm used to being flat-footed, but there's a little heel on it. She's exactly right. The weight shift, going from a flat foot to a heel, mm -hmm. add in a leg lift, now you're on one leg. It throws you off, and it shows exactly what we preach to them every year. When they're learning the kick line is the importance of everyone being together, everyone's arms linked correctly, your legs aligned because you don't want to hurt yourself and you don't want to hurt anyone next to you by making a mistake. Mm -hmm. Meredith described the mechanics of it perfectly. She pitched herself too far forward, her weight was more forward than back, and then she couldn't come back up. And she understood it. Instead of saying, yes, ma'am, she knew what she was doing. And let's take a look at our current standings. Don't forget to tune in to DCC Making the Team next Friday at 9, 8 central.